Hello everyone, welcome back to The Workbench. I'm your host Charles, and in today's episode we're going to talk about this crazy contraption that I'm wearing. So a couple weeks ago Element 14 asked me if I would build a Halloween project. Um, kind of like I do every year for them, and this time it was a, based around a costume that utilized a Raspberry Pi 3 and a 7-inch touchscreen. So I'm not big on costume building, I'm more of the prop kind of guy, but um, I kind of pulled it off, I think. So after a lot of deliberation and talking to some friends and stuff, I decided to build a walking, talking slot machine. Um, this... Uh, decision was pretty easy to do after I found an open source uh, Python slot machine. So it's this is kind of what it turned into. Um, so traditional slot machines have that pull arm that you pull down to spin the slots and so does this one. Um, I crafted a uh, I guess a silver sleeve to go over my hand to kind of look like a metal rod and I put this cute little pumpkin flashlight in it because I needed a place to hold the tilt sensor that's in there um, that triggers the spin. So if you pull my arm down, the uh, wheels spin. And like I said, that's all handled through just a simple tilt switch that's uh, inside the handle of this flashlight. I also have a eight millimeter NeoPixel LED in there. So that's why it's flashing. Um, there's a couple other ways you can play. There's a button here that increases your bet. And if you press this button here, it will do your spin for you. Um, so you, there's a LED rainbow chase animation that's going around um, through these NeoPixels here. And if we win, you'll see the uh, animation turns to a white strobe flash. Some of you will remember this. There you go. There's the there's the strobe. Some of you will remember that from a video I posted last week demoing um, this program and some NeoPixels and just a little dev setup I built. So also on the inside there's a Bluetooth speaker. So I'll turn the volume up now and let you hear it. And that audio is going over the. Uh, the, the Raspberry Pi 3's built-in Bluetooth. So that's kind of cool that I got to utilize that too. Okay, so I'm... Okay, so I'm going to spin a few times and we'll see the different uh, logos that I put in the spin wheels. So as you can see, I have the Arduino logo, the Python logo, um, the Spooky Pie, Boo Pie, whatever lo you know, whatever you want to call it, logo, the open source initiative logo. I also have the open source hardware logo, um, the Debian logo, and we just won. Um, I also have the Element 14 logo in, and uh, I have the the uh, Spooky Pi logo and the Raspberry Pi logo set as the two rarest items. So, you know, if you win on them, you actually win pretty big. So everyone, that's going to wrap up this video. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up I get, the more I know you like these kind of things. And if you didn't like it or if you liked it, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought. And uh, remember to hit up the description below for the three links to all three posts about how I built this. Um, that's going to wrap it up for now. I'll see you next time. Until then, hack the world and make awesome.